morning everyone I have had quite the morning I'm just about to do my makeup with you I want to use all the merit um, products that I had shown you and I think two vlogs ago in a PR haul um, but I have had quite the morning because I recently got Justin Baldoni's new book sorry I take the covers off when I read because I, they're always slipping and sliding but this is Justin Baldoni's um, new book called man enough and wow has this evoked so many emotions i literally started it this morning this is usually when i read and uh, i'm gonna do my makeup in a second just let me get this out because i literally had to call my mom to just like vent because i was feeling so fired up if you don't know what the book is about um justin baldoni wrote this book about being man enough and kind of what it means to be a man kind of undefining masculinity and how masculinity has looked in his life in his relationships blah 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 um, I actually remember watching his TED talk, um, Man Enough, What It Means to Be a Man, I think it was back in 2018, was when it first came out, and, um, honestly, amazing TED talk, it stuck so deeply, like, it really, it was something that I kind of always had in the back of my mind, and if it ever kind of naturally came up in conversation with other men in my life, I would bring up this TED talk and I'd be like, hey, like you should check this out, you know, very casually because you know how men can be. And um, so the fact that he wrote this book is just absolutely amazing. I just have so much respect for him. I think what he's doing is phenomenal. So anyways, as I'm reading this book, I, you know, I start to get this sense of this isn't for me. And what I mean by that is this book was, he wrote this for men, okay? And as I'm reading, I'm like, man, like, I just, I wish that it, it, it was more men reading this book and not just women. And then I started thinking, because I got so passionate about it, I was like, I'm going to put this on my stories on Instagram and, you know, ask men, like, if they're reading it, if they want to read it, um, and just, you know, tell them to buy it. And then as soon as I thought that, I had this, like, pit in my stomach and this fear that all the men would see those stories and say, this is stupid. This is gay. And that is literally the reason why this book needs to exist. The fact that men think talking about anything other than sports, women, money is not okay is an issue. And I don't know how many men watch my videos. I don't. Um, but the fact that I had that inkling in me that that was going to be men's the men's response already shows that there is a behavior that I am familiar with and pre-exposed to. Anyways, I just felt that uh, this, you know, reading this book really felt like Untamed, but for men. And it's the, it's the male version of Untamed by Glennon Doyle. And I have 348,000 followers on Instagram, okay? 348,000. 12% of my followers are men. And yesterday when I posted about this book, okay, one guy, one, messaged me saying that he was looking into reading this book. One, one guy. Um, and then after I posted the picture of the book, I posted myself in this pajama set. Because it's very cute, okay? It's cute. It's by Laloras, by the way. I will link it down below. Um, and anyways, one guy messaged me about the book. And then the rest proceeded to um, say how cute I looked in my pajamas. You take what you want out of that. That's all I'm going to say. Anyways. If you are looking into picking up Justin's book, I highly encourage you to do so. Um, and I also encourage you to encourage the men in your life to pick this book up. Even if their first response is, mm, that's not my thing, I don't talk about that. Encourage them to read this, even if they read one chapter, two chapters. Um, I think it's the type of thing that needs to be talked about, needs to be read about, and I am just really, honestly, I really respect him for doing this because I think we talk 
so much about feminism, okay, and powerful women, and blah, 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 blah. And we don't talk about what men are going through because as much as we've gone through a lot, the men have dealt with different things. And I would love for you guys to start a conversation in the comments um, if you guys want to. I, you know, someone commented or maybe you sent me a DM, I can't remember, about how we are a nerdy community. Yes, we are. We are an educated community and not even just educated, just, you know, educate, education doesn't just mean going to university or college reading is educating yourself and um so start a conversation i will be more than happy to chime in and chat with you guys about whatever it is that's running through your heads about this whether you agree disagree whatever start a conversation i think it's so important and to the men in the comments if you're gonna comment a compliment you better have something else to say along with it okay thank you that's all um, I'm going to do my makeup now because I just had to get that off my chest. Oh, by the way, I know I mentioned it already. This is a new Silk PJ set sent to me by Laloras. They're actually a sister brand of Lily Silk. So if you've shopped from Lily Silk before, which I know a lot of you have, this is pretty much the, it's just a sister brand. They're just kind of spreading out into like loungewear and PJs and this was one of their newest launches. Um, it's just so beautiful with the piping and this blue color is, I'm here for it. <laughs> Anyways, um, I've already put, uh, actually I haven't put the screen on yet. So I'm just gonna use my La Roche Posay SPF and yes, I do shake it. I just shake it off camera because the sound when I'm editing is absolutely horrendous of the little shaker in the bottle thing. So I always, I always take it out of the videos because it sounds literally terrible. <laughs> Anyways, I was just so like emotional, not even emotional, just I was thinking so much about all the men in my life and and all the things that I've heard them say, you know, to other men and to their kids and it just kind of, I don't know. It just kind of supports everything that Justin is saying in his book and um, yeah, it's very interesting. Um, I'm going to do a really light makeup today. I don't even have a lot of self tanner so I don't want anything too too heavy. Recently I've been reaching a lot for my Chanel Lays Beige um, Water Fresh Tint. This is so light on your face, like you literally do not even feel it um, but it does give a really really nice tint. Um, it's why I've been reaching for it so much. Sorry, I need to turn my mirror. So I'm going to do, I do not, do I have to film today? I do. Um, I do have to film a, a reel today, but it's nothing that's going to be like super close up. Let's hope that this makeup look <laughs> turns out with all of these products used together. I've used all the products kind of individually, but I'm going to mix them in a little bit. Um, so I'm going to start off with their, so this is their Perfecting Complexion Stick. This is really cool because you can use it as concealer, you can use it to spa conceal, or you can use it as foundation. And I am here for anything that is quick and efficient. So, so what I did is I actually got two, and I picked two different colors. So I picked a concealer color and then a contour color. And if you've been following me for a while, a while back I said that I was actually in search of a new kind of contour stick because I do have... Um, this Anastasia Beverly Hills, which is amazing, which is amazing, but um, it's really old. I'm pretty much out, and I don't think they actually make that exact color anymore. So I was like, you know what? Let me start exploring new um, brands, and actually, I've been using this every single day for the past week to two weeks, and I love it. So if you're looking for a new contour, highly, highly, highly recommend this new, this Merit one. It's actually really, really good. It blends really nicely. Um, the first time I used it, I actually tapped it into my skin and um, I did not like that. It did not blend as nicely. So what I actually like to do is I like to use, this is, this is my MAC 188 brush and this is the brush that I use for contour. And so I just rub it on and then I start to blend it in. Sorry, I'm listening to music because I usually watch TV while I do my makeup, but you know, we're gonna we're gonna chat today and I'm gonna listen to music. So I just love how beautiful this kind of contour complexion stick. It's not a contour stick, okay? Um, I just love how natural this looks and blends in with everything.
where it's a little hard to see um, just because it is really bright in here, but I'll, it'll all come together at the end. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is concealer. I'm actually going to use this concealer with my other products just because that is how I would normally do my concealer. So I'm going to use my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser and then my Rare Beauty Concealer along with the Merit. So again, this can be used as concealer. Um, I just used it as contour. For the concealer, I'm actually just going to tap this into the inner corner. This is quite high coverage, I do have to admit, but it looks super, super natural, which I really, really like. But it still covers quite a lot. Um, so once I do that, then I'm going to use my Instant Age Rewind in the outer corner. And then on my eyelids as well. And I'm actually going to use this guy around my nose. So I'm just going to... tap that in and then of course my rare beauty highlighter in 170w which is really really like bright i like to just put this in the center here i know this is like a blending of colors <laughs> it looks like i have a, like a palette of paint on my face but this is what i like to do okay so I'm going to start blending this center here. I actually used this concealer, the Merit Concealer, um, the other day just on its own for a really like natural day I was I literally only had I think like the by Terry CC serum and then I put some concealer on and I just used that one I just wanted to see how it would um, kind of behave on its own I didn't even have to set it I just put it on blended it in and it looked so so beautiful so I really actually do enjoy this concealer um, I just wish I would have gotten a different shade it's a little bit harder when you're trying to find your shade online because I found that my NARS concealer was a little bit more peachier and on my skin tone the peach undertones are actually better to kind of cover up any darkness this one is just a little bit too warm for me but it's still as you can see really really natural it does do a really good job at covering everything up so And then I just like to go in again with my MAC 1888 brush. 1888. Ha! 188. Um, 188. And just kind of blend everything in again. So that's that. I have actually made a new discovery. And um, once I am through with this, I will buy the full size because it is seriously so good. This is the Makeup Forever Professional Setting Powder. This is the Ultra HD micro finishing loose powder i will link this below because this is seriously the best up until today setting powder i've ever used it is so finely milled um this was actually something that i got with like my my sephora points and i was kind of hesitant to get it and then i asked the girl i was like is it good like i don't know i'm not crazy about setting powders i just don't use them all the time and she's like this is literally the best setting powder you'll ever use like it just like literally makes you look like you've been like photoshopped and she was not kidding this thing is phenomenal i do like to use a brush and you only need the tiniest amount sometimes if i've done like a really kind of you know if i've done a really heavy face of makeup i will use my beauty blender dip it in and kind of bake almost but not really um otherwise for everyday use, I just like to use a brush and just kind of tap it into those areas where I apply concealer. And um, I don't like a matte look, and this is quite matte, so I just use this on the areas where I I want to prevent creasing. Um, so my eyelids too. So yeah, that's uh, if you're looking for a new setting powder. Highly, 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 
highly recommend this makeup forever setting powder it's honestly so good and honestly if you're like me use the get the sample first get the mini me first before spending your money because everyone's different like yeah like i was in love with the laura mercier one for quite some time and then i do have a mini by terry um setting powder which is honestly really nice because this is really kind of convenient to travel with it's not messy it's really tiny so if i'm on the go and i'm you know staying over somewhere for the night that is a setting powder i take just because it's so much easier to deal with um okay so i'm gonna do my eyes now if you watch my vlog um about the sephora haul you will know that um, I bought a few things from Dior, from the Dior Backstage Collection. I have fallen in love with this collection. I seriously want to try more of their products. But, um, I got this eyeshadow palette and I absolutely love it. I have been using it every single day and there's just so many different looks that you can achieve with it. Um, if you're looking for just like an everyday palette, I highly, highly recommend this one. The blending is super easy. So for me, someone who's not a makeup expert at all um everything just blends in so so nicely and i can achieve totally different looks with it i just yeah this dior palette is absolutely beautiful so right now i'm using this color here which is kind of like a gray almost like a taupey color just in my crease i seriously need to buy new makeup brushes because these ones are extremely old and they're kind of tough on the eye Anyway, so once I do that, I like to go in with, this is just a really old Anastasia Beverly Hills um, brush, but I like to blend that in. I like to go in with this color right here and just kind of add that to the outer corner and then just blend it in a little bit towards my crease. Finished eye look. It's very simple. Um, I noticed, I think I mentioned, I don't know if it was in a vlog or maybe I didn't mention it, I don't know. There are three shimmer shades, and I noticed that the first time I tried them with a dry brush, they didn't really like, um, they didn't really transfer. So I actually had to get my brush a little bit wet, and then when I dipped them in, the shadows did transfer. So, yeah, if you use this for the first time and you're like, hold on a second, like, why am I not getting any payoff? Just get your brush a little bit wet. Even if you have like a MAC Fix Plus or something, spray your brush a little bit, um, and it'll help a lot. Next is this contour palette. Um, yes um don't worry my mom got her own palette this is mine um i ended up getting her her own <laughs> because i really 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 liked this and yes i still use the cream um contour underneath so i like to use this shade here first which is like the contour color and i like just concentrate this on my cheekbones and then what i've really been enjoying why am I running out of memory already? Um, you guys know I am a like bronzer lover. And um, something I've actually really enjoyed doing is mixing these two colors. So these two up here are kind of like your highlights. And then um, these are, I guess, your contour bronzer. So I actually like to mix this color and this color together. And I've been using this as kind of like a bronzer. And I just find that the color is so, so beautiful. I just love how beautiful that looks and then I'll actually with the same brush dip into the lighter kind of highlight color and I'll just brush that on the tops of my cheeks and right on my nose as well this is the merit highlighter stick I absolutely love this this is such a beautiful highlight it is honestly so so similar to my rare beauty um, highlighter um, the shade is almost identical And then I'm just going to add a little bit of blush on my cheeks. This is the By Terry Compact Expert Dual Powder in number 7 Sun Desire. It is the most beautiful kind of cool toned pink. So it's almost like a barely there um, blush and I just, I love it. Next we have their brow gel. So this is the Voluminizing Pomade in Black Brown. Honestly, I got the black brown and I would say that it is a little bit too brown for my hair, like my hair color. So I would have preferred this in a black um, just because it is a little bit too brown if you look closely, but it works. So that's the brow gel. Really, really nice. It's really natural. It's not too tacky. So if you're looking 
for something so this isn't gonna like keep your eyebrows super super in place it's more just to give like a nice kind of tint um yeah that's that next is their mascara i actually really really enjoy their mascara it really reminds me of the glossier lash lick so it's not gonna clump up your lashes at all which i really love i love a natural look especially on natural days i feel like this is such an amazing brand for those like natural no makeup makeup days so that's the wand which i actually really really like i like this type of wand because it is really really gonna give that natural look to your lashes <laughs> beautiful that looks i love it and then the last thing is actually their so this is their cheek color now um i'm not a huge blush fan but what i've been doing is actually using this as a lip tint and i i it's literally my new favorite combo i use this in a reel which is actually going out today but i don't know you guys will already have seen it but i used it in a reel because i was just trying to get creative with like things to show on my reel and I was like mm, you know what let me try this as a lip color and I just was obsessed so I like to tap this into my lips I have used this as a um, blush though and it looks absolutely phenomenal even though it is such a deep color it looks so so beautiful on your cheek and it just melts into your skin like it looks so so natural so once i've done that i like to go in with my marc jacobs lip gloss this is in 314 moon glow and i love to just add this on top i love a glossy lip so i love to add this on top please tell me that this is not the most beautiful lip combo you've ever seen like how beautiful is that it's like are those her lips or not like is she wearing lipstick or a gloss or does she just have naturally beautiful tinted lips you'll never know you'll never know this is the lip combo i've been using recently and i absolutely love it um yeah so that is my face of merit okay so now i just want to go through some of the merit products that i really really liked because there are some that i actually really did enjoy so the first product that i would highly recommend picking up is their complexion sticks so um i would definitely pick up a contour if you're looking for a new like cream contour stick highly recommend this one this one has completely replaced my anastasia beverly hills so i am happy to say that i am no longer on the hunt for a contour stick this one did it for me it is just so 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 good and i just it blends nicely it's a perfect color it's kind of like a contour slash bronzer for me which i love um and if you are someone who does a lot of natural makeup days then the complexion stick in a concealer color is great it's also great for spot concealing so this is what I've actually been reaching for for spot concealing as opposed to my NARS just because it is a better color match for me and it can also be really really like high coverage which is nice for concealing spots so that is my first recommendation for you the second one is the like little um, balm kind of what are, what are they called cheek colors Again, I'm using mine as a lip color, which um, I highly recommend you do so. But it also is a beautiful blush. So if you're looking for a new blush, highly recommend checking this one out. They also do come in a really nice range of colors. So I find that the deeper colors would just look so beautiful on darker skin tones, which is really nice to see when it comes to blushes. So yeah, this is the Raspberry Beret shade. And I love it on the lips. I love it on my cheeks. Um, I'll have to do my makeup another day with you and actually show it to you on my cheeks. But I've been using it on my lips, so that's how I wanted to show it to you. And then of course, um, the highlighter stick. I love this. If you're a person who prefers kind of cream products as opposed to liquid products like the Rare Beauty, then definitely check this one out. The shade for this one is Bounce, and it's literally the exact same shade as the Rare Beauty highlighter, and I just, I love that it's so beautiful like that. So yeah, highly recommend checking this one out. Anyways, um, that is my makeup for today. It is very natural. Like I said, I'm not doing a ton of filming, but um, I do have to film one reel. It's not gonna be close up, so it's not like I have to 
show my face all that much so i just wanted to do something very natural for today anyways i'm gonna get myself dressed and ready for the day um in this vlog i actually don't know what is even in this vlog i really really wish i could just spend all my morning reading justin baldoni's new book i just i really want to just get through it um it just seems like it's gonna be a really really enjoyable read so yeah anyways i'm i keep chatting okay just wanted to give you another angle of this makeup look it's so beautiful i actually really i am enjoying these products quite a lot especially the contour complexion stick i know it's not a contour stick it's a complexion stick but i'm using it as a contour and i really 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 love it it just looks so natural and of course this lip color i'm gonna stop chatting and uh, i'm gonna go get dressed and ready for the day hello everyone i am dressed now um i just put a blazer and then a sports bra and then just my trousers i'll show you in a second but right now i'm gonna sit down and answer comments that is on my to-do list for this morning because i am so far behind i feel like i say this in every vlog but i literally have an unhealthy amount of comments to get back to um so i'm gonna go do that for probably about an hour and then i do have to film a reel today but i also have to pick up some books that i bought for my dad and i um, so I'm gonna go pick up those at chapters. I know it's indigo. I still call it chapters Does anyone else still call indigo chapters because I just I cannot move away from chapters Like if you don't know if you're outside of Canada um, Chapters was a bookstore that we had. I mean we still have it um, And it was just a bookstore. There was always typically a Starbucks in there where people would read and a few years ago they changed the name to indigo um, because then they started selling like more home stuff and they have like, you know, different stationary areas and whatever So it's not just a bookstore anymore. There, there's more than books and so anyways A lot of people have switched over to calling it indigo and still I cannot move away from chapters like indigo mm -mm, It's just it sounds wrong so for me, it will always be chapters. And in my defense, if you search up their website um, and you type in chapters, it still comes up. You will still be sent to Indigo. So, so anyway, so yeah, I have to pick up some books um, in curbside later today because they I just got the email that they are ready for pickup. I actually got a new book by Bell Hooks. I read um, All About Love. Is that what it's called? Yeah, All About Love by Bell Hooks. I feel like that's not the right name. Anyways, I picked up another book by Bell Hooks because I just really enjoyed the writing style and what they had to say. So I picked up another book. Um, I think this one's called Communion. Yeah, I want to say it's called Communion. Um, so I picked that up because I really just felt like I needed another feminist text um, after I finish uh, Justin's book. So that's what I have to do today. And then I don't know what else I have on my probably emails and admin stuff. Not fun, but that's okay. So anyways, right now I'm going to respond to some comments. I'm honestly probably just gonna put on a show or something to just give me some background noise while I respond to comments because responding to comments in like the dead silence is really depressing. So anyways, that's what I'm gonna do for the next little while. And then um, anyways, yeah, so I'm gonna go get that done. just got back from um going to chapters to pick up some books i picked up two books one of them is actually for my dad now my dad is not the biggest reader but but we were actually talking the other day and he actually asked if i could recommend him a book and he did some browsing and i actually recommended to him this book so i actually want to read it so i'll read it after him but it's talking to strangers by malcolm gladwell it's actually he's actually a canadian author which is really cool um, and this is actually a book that is on my to read list um, just because the concept is really really interesting So I picked this book up for him. He'll read that and then once he's done with it. I will read it for myself um, After I'm done Justin Baldoni and I'll probably read this afterwards, but this is another book by Bell Hooks I actually read um, all about love by Bell Hooks and I really 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 enjoyed the writing so I picked up communion the female search for love I just felt like I don't know just something feminist <laughs> and um, this is what I picked up so those are the two books that are kind of new to the collection like I said one of them is for my dad at the moment but 
yeah i also stopped at my favorite cafe i picked up a coffee and just a little baked good i am just gonna take a little bit of a break so i'm gonna actually read a little bit while i have my coffee and my little dessert thing um and then after that i'll film some reels but yeah i'm just gonna take a little bit of a break i really want to read sometimes when i take my breaks i actually read i know i get so many questions on my instagram um about when i find the time to read and whether i read at night or in the morning and honestly i try to read whenever i have time so in the mornings um if you saw my morning routine you know that i do read in the mornings that is the one time where i am guaranteed to read i have no excuse to not read in the morning because my day has not started yet i have nothing planned it's not like i can say oh you know i have a meeting at 7 a.m no um there's no excuse for me not to read so in the mornings i always read and most of the time I do read at night. It really depends on what my day looks like. So for example, if I am editing till super late at night, I'm obviously not going to read. Um, but if I'm having just like a normal relaxed evening, then yes, I like to sit either on my couch or in bed and just read for a little bit. Um, and then aside from that, when I do have pockets of kind of breaks in my day, I do like to sit down and read, even if it's just two three pages it's something it gets me immersed in you know in the book and it just allows me to kind of detach from work for a little bit so i really just try and find pockets of time for reading whenever i can um and that's what i'm going to do right now i'm going to sit i'm going to read a few pages probably just a chapter or two um and yeah that's what i'm going to do so let me get all cozied up i'm not even going to take this sweater off i'm wearing my holland cooper um green witch cable knit and then my <laughs> burberry scarf because i'm just literally so cold it's like 10 degrees outside which isn't that that cold but it's super windy today so i was walking outside you can even see like my nose is still a little bit red um and i haven't warmed up yet so i'm just gonna stay in this until i warm up and then i'll probably change back to my other stuff or probably not because i have to film a reel and i'll be changing in and out of outfits like nine times ten times so Anyways, let me go sit and read for a bit because I am really excited to read a little bit more of Justin Baldoni's new book. If you're wondering why the book is black is because I actually take the covers off of um, hardcover books, like the paper covers. I just, nothing frustrates me more than when you are sitting down and the slide and the like the paper cover starts to slide up. <sighs> nothing frustrates me more than that. So most of the time I just take the covers off and then when I'm done reading the book, I will put them back on. And put them in my shelf but that's why most of the time you'll see me with um non-covered um hardcover books just because i just yeah it's really annoying anyways just wanted to say that in case people were like uh i thought she was reading like a a book with like a man's face on it <laughs> anyways i'm gonna read okay the funniest i'm sorry and i'm supposed to be reading right now the funniest thing just happened oh uh, i know i'm not gonna allow my mom to see this video until after mother's day because mother's day is this weekend but essentially my dad and I got my mom a Nespresso for Mother's Day and we're splitting the cost, right? And so my family and I have a group chat, but then I also obviously have like individual conversations with like my mom and dad. And I text my dad like, oh, like I got your book, like here's the picture. And then he's like, how much was it like to pay me back? And I was like, no, no, like don't worry, I got it. And then he's like, take it out of your mom's Nespresso. And so I call him and I'm like, uh, dad, like, uh, you just texted the group chat that we got mom an espresso for Mother's Day. And we were both just like laughing on the phone. I know this is probably not as funny to you as it is for me, but like, uh, what a fail, like major fail. And I was like, good luck getting out of that one. Oh my God. That's so funny. That is so funny. Uh, poor guy. Anyways, I'm going to go read now. <laughs> A uh, little update here. So it has been decided. My dad messaged me and it has been decided that we're going to try and send a bunch of messages back and forth in the group chat in the hopes that she doesn't see the Nespresso message. Yeah, I'm not sure how well that's going to work out. <laughs> getting ready for bed now 
and I am playing with fire because my camera because you are currently on my Ren toner so that is quite the scary thing um, but it should be fine I know a lot of you wanted a little bit of an update on this I'm actually really enjoying it and I use it morning and night do you want to say that it actually has helped my dark circles I still want to use it a little bit longer just to kind of give you guys a more accurate review um, but so far I am really really enjoying it and I, like I said I use it morning and night and it's just such a lovely product to have in my routine this has been the one kind of skincare makeup whatever you want to put this whatever category you want to put this in um, that I have not been able to part ways with Okay, I just, there's something about the original balm.com that just, it's unlike no other. Like I literally have like all my Glossier balm.coms here with me. I even have some mini me's. Um, I, I've lost some. This one is like gone. This is the rose balm.com, which I love. I love the berry balm.com. Birthday cake is really nice too, but it's got some glitter in it. Um... Anyways, I don't know why I'm talking about Glossier, but I am just about to head to bed. I have my book to read. I'm going to read Justin Baldoni's book. I was just reading um, while I was in the living room for a little bit, and I'm just really, really enjoying it. I actually had a couple guys reach out today, um, some followers, just saying like, hey, like, what's this book about? Like, I think I want to pick it up. Um, and that made my heart really, really full, and that was really exciting to, to you know, have those men reach out. Um, I also had a lot of women, you know, say that they were actually going to pick up the book for the men in their lives. There was a mom who said she was going to pick up the book for her 16-year-old boy. She's like, wish me luck, and I was like, you know what, you got to take that first step. Um, yes, I was like, all the best of luck to you, but you know what, taking that first step and actually getting the book and giving it to her son is a huge step and it's really commendable you know maybe if he's 16 right now and doesn't read it now but he has it in his shelf and maybe two years down the road he decides to pick it up and really get into it um, or maybe you know maybe i'm being pessimistic maybe he just picks up the book right now and opens it up and it's gonna be really life-changing for him so i think taking those first steps is really amazing even my mom and i were chatting this morning and i was like and we were like you know what we why don't we just buy copies and give them to the men in our lives um, because it is just a really powerful topic and I think you know we I'm sorry I'm talking about this again but like it's just so prominent right now in my life like this topic is just it's really interesting but you know we we talk so much about feminism 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 women you know um, the wage gap and not to diminish that that is so important but it's as women I think we also have to understand the male counterparts and what they're going through because i think they're dealing with a totally different set of you know struggles and um yeah it's just it's really different than what women face and i think it's you know i think as as much as it's you know the men's responsibility to educate themselves on feminism and how they can help and support the women in their lives i think it's also important for us as women to educate ourselves on the men in our lives and what they're going through and what their history has looked like and yes i know we've studied a lot of male history usually when you study history you are studying it through the male lens um but we're talking about you know gendered history so anyways <laughs> that's gonna be my night it's very very uh low-key i don't have anything planned for tonight but um, it was a very not productive day you know what it wasn't the greatest day for me i wasn't very productive i think just you know I find with these constant lockdowns in Toronto, there are, you know, there are waves. You know, we have good days, we have bad days. Today was a day that I was just not motivated. It's been raining, like I said earlier today, for like 75 days in Toronto. Uh, it has not stopped raining and it's overcast every single day and that just gets really, really sad. So, um, yeah, it's just what, you know, it's just the day is done. I'm going to end it in the best and most positive way that I can. Um, and that way tomorrow I can wake up and have a much better day than I did today because truthfully I didn't get a lot done I just I was not feeling anything so yeah but um, anyways I'm gonna get settled into bed and read for a bit and I will catch up with you in the morning good morning everyone I am coming at you with a fresh face I just did my makeup I haven't done my hair and I haven't chosen what to wear honestly I have no idea what I even want to wear today 
I, yeah, and I feel like I'm in a rut this week. I just, mm, motivation is like at zero. So I think I'm actually going to work on my blog today, which I haven't done in a very long time. But I just feel like I really need to switch up. Like I'm just kind of getting tired of the routine. So I figured, you know what, let's play a little bit with my blog and see how that works. Um, but aside from that, oh, <laughs> oh, also totally on a totally different note. Um, I was reading all your comments about Netflix shows and um, I don't know if I should be embarrassed or worried about myself because I have literally seen almost every single show you guys recommended. Um, like Outer Banks, <laughs> seen it. Um, what else is on here? Jane the Virgin, Handmaid's, like there's just literally almost every single show you guys recommended I've seen. Um, but there was one, Schitt's Creek. I actually haven't seen it and my friends have been recommending it to me nonstop. So I figured, you know what? You guys recommended it to me. My friends recommended it to me. So why not to give it a chance? So I started Schitt's Creek last night. It is hilarious, by the way. Hilarious. If you're looking for something really funny to just kind of like get you chuckling and laughing, highly recommend Schitt's Creek. It's really, really funny. Um, so thank you all for your recommendations that we obviously all have the same taste in movies and TV shows because I've watched all of them and I have loved all of those shows that you guys recommended. Um, yeah, I feel like I, we're very big movie TV show people in my family. Um, anyways, um, it is quite warm in the apartment today. So I think I'm just going to put on a dress, um, because yeah i just i hate putting stuff on that you that is old because i know you guys can't get hold of it but i might wear this beautiful little dress from sunday best aritzia um it just feels like a nice fabric for today it's not heavy or anything anyways yeah i'm gonna get dressed and then i will chat with you in a bit hello everyone wow my hair is looking like honestly pretty good today Impressed. Um, but I'm just drinking kombucha. This is one of my favorite kombuchas at the moment. This is the Remedy Kombucha peach flavored. It is so mm, It is so so good um, And it's funny because they even reached out to me asking because I like tagged them in a post because I literally like I had been drinking their kombucha for weeks now and I was in love with it So I ended up tagging them in a post just to just to share with you guys on Instagram and they're like, oh my god, that is so exciting. Like, let us send you more flavors to try. So they sent me two other flavors. They sent me raspberry lemonade, which I tried yesterday, and it's I still didn't love as much as a peach flavor. And they also sent me cherry plum, I think, is a flavor. So I'll have to try that one tomorrow. But right now I'm drinking the peach, and it's just so, so good. Um, but yesterday I ended up vlogging a bunch, and then I honestly, halfway through the day, just like felt terrible. Like, I just wasn't... I wasn't motivated, I just so I just said, you know what, that's enough, we're not working today. It's not happening, I'm not forcing it. And so instead, I walked to a park and I sat and read for like at least two hours. I was just in my own world, I was just, you know, immersed in my book and I think that's just what I needed um, just to kind of help me get through it. Um, but essentially, we have exactly two weeks left in our lockdown and i feel like these two weeks are going to be the longest two weeks of the entire pandemic because it's like people are really starting to get vaccinated now um they're really speeding up um kind of the whole vaccination process which is really really exciting unfortunately although they have tons of hot spots in toronto i am not in one of those hot spots even though i'm like literally downtown um, which is really unfortunate and really frustrating, but at least, you know, we are, I, I feel like the end is in sight, the end is near, um, sort of, so yeah, I'm just trying to stay hopeful, um, but at the end of the day, we are human and we are not superhumans that can just forego all emotions. Um, we all know how that turned out in Brave New World, so yeah, if you know, you know. <laughs> um, but anyways, yeah, like I said, I've just been sad here. Um, but what I wanted to do now is actually go through some new dresses. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, you will know all of these dresses already and you will have seen them. I just wanted to sit down with you and kind of talk you through the dresses. So I'll give you all the information I have and then that way you have that information and you can make the most informed decision. I will go through these three dresses with you, which I'm so excited. Which I am so excited about and I think you guys are gonna really really love them if I can find more affordable dupes 
I will absolutely link them down below. Sometimes with these styles that are just a little bit more unique, I find it, it is much harder to find affordable styles. I don't know why that's the case, um, it, just, it just is. But I will absolutely try my best to find those kind of dupes for you. Um, and yeah, so anyways, let me go grab the dresses and then we can get chatting. All right, before I get chatting about the first dress, which is from Self Portrait, I actually want to give you a bit of a story, kind of a backstory to my relationship with Self Portrait because it actually goes back quite a bit. But um, the first dress I ever got from Self Portrait was back in 2017 or maybe it was 18. What is with that beeping? Oh my God. And anyways, what I was saying was, the first purchase I ever made from Self Portrait was back in 2017, maybe 18. Um, and it was actually my prom dress. So back then I remember my mom and I were shopping around high and low for the perfect dress. And at that point, I think I was starting to kind of really develop my own sense of style, at least in the sense of what I like. I was definitely, I think at that point, my interest for higher end brands were becoming very evident. I was really eyeing up brands like Zimmerman, um, Cult Gaia, um, brands like self-portrait i was really already starting to kind of explore those brands even though they weren't in our budget um and so as we were shopping around for prom dresses i tried so many different styles on and obviously prom dresses i think typically we go for that traditional kind of ballroom dress or a very fitted dress you know those long kind of to the floor gowns that is kind of like the more traditional prom dress um, and I tried those on, I really did and every time I did, they were gorgeous, don't get me wrong but I never felt like me um, and I feel like it's this idea of feeling the, like the best version of yourself that I still try to impose on my content today and it's something that was very prevalent during that time when I was shopping for my prom dress so you're probably all wondering what the heck was my prom dress well, this was my prom dress and you actually all just recently saw this on my community kind of page on YouTube and you were all commenting how beautiful this dress was and thank you by the way, I will get back to those comments at some point <laughs> um, but this, you know, the reason I wanted to actually talk about this was because you know, I think when we spend on pieces, sometimes we don't think about what those items are going to look like in our wardrobe three, four years down the line. Sometimes we just buy it and we just don't think about it. We're like, oh, yep, I like it in the moment. But we don't think about what that's going to look like down the road. And as we were shopping for prom dresses, it became evident that one, prom dresses are not cheap. Two, if we were going to spend that much money, it felt ridiculous to buy something that was super over the top, that was super beautiful and, you know, sparkly and whatever, but that I was never going to be able to wear again because I just was never going to be able to wear a prom dress anywhere again. And I remember we were in Toronto shopping around in Yorkville. Ironically, I didn't even know at the time that I would end up moving to Toronto and it's just, anyways, everything just falls together nicely. But, um... We were shopping around in Yorkville and we stumbled past Holt Renfrew and my dad was like, and for your knowledge, my dad has worked in the beauty industry for most of his life so he was very heavily kind of immersed in the world of beauty and so he was very, obviously very familiar with different brands and stuff and so he was like, you know what, let's just go into Holt Renfrew and check out what they have in there and um, just for inspiration. And so we go into Holt Renfrew, we're looking around and the moment I see self-portrait, they don't even carry self-portrait at Cold Run for anymore, but the moment I saw self-portrait, I fell in love with every single dress that they had. And I mean, still to this day, you hand me a self-portrait dress in my size and I'll wear it. No questions asked, I'll wear it. It's fine, I'll, fi I'll, I'll wear it. it there, everything from that brand is absolutely beautiful. And so anyways, we get there, I try this dress on and, and you know, it's quite expensive and um, like very expensive and and then my dad goes, try it on, just try it on. And I try it on and I, you know, I, I didn't really want to fall in love, fall in love with a dress that I, we just couldn't afford. And um, I try this dress on and I walk out of the fitting room and my mom and dad just look at me and I look at myself and it's just my face had completely changed. It's just, it's like that moment of finding your wedding dress, I feel like. It's like the moment you put on the right one, it's just your face changes, your, your posture changes because you just feel so beautiful. And I feel like that was, that feeling is exactly what I had when I tried this dress on. And my dad right away was like, that's the one. You're getting it. That's, that's your dress. And so that became my prom dress. And 
the thing with you know the conversation that we had in that fitting room because it was just us three in that fitting room was the fact that I was gonna be as much as this dress was probably a little bit more expensive than some of the other prom dresses we had been seeing I was gonna be able to wear this dress years down the line it was so unique yet the silhouette wasn't absurd um, it was a very timeless and classic style color you know I would be able to dress it up dress it down depending on what jewelry I was wearing or what shoes I was wearing how I did my makeup my hair and it just became evident that this was going to be a dress that you know three four years down the line I would still be able to get use out of it and I have you know I have been able to rewear my prom dress multiple times I wore it to an event at my university in first year um, and anyways it's a very long rant but it's just a really nice story and it was the first designer item I ever owned um, alongside with that dress we actually bought Mano my first pair of Manolo Blahnix. Um, I don't have a second pair but I will one day, okay? I will one day. <laughs> and that was a very, very special occasion because again, it was my first time ever owning anything kind of designer premium. And so, self-portrait will forever hold a very special place in my heart and um, like Ren Skincare, if I ever work with Self-Portrait, um, it'll be a pinch me moment because it is a brand that I have so much respect for the designer. He was able to bring this, like he was able to build this brand up from the ground up, you know, to just a beautiful runway line. It is also so unique. The quality is out of this world. Anyways, they're probably like, Sam, can we see the dress? Yes, you can see the dress. <laughs> So the dress that I got is this one here and again if you follow me on Instagram you will have seen this dress already so I do highly encourage you to follow me on Instagram because you'll probably get um, a first dibs and a sneak peek at most of the pieces that I buy and share. Um, so this is the dress here, it's got a beautiful v-neck neckline just lined with lace, got buttons running down the center and a waist that you can kind of cinch in with these little drawstrings on the side which I really like because you can kind of let it out or tighten it up depending on how you're feeling and then of course the skirt just has all this lace detailing all along the edges and it's just so so beautiful it is just a dress that for me I knew I would be able to dress up or down and it's funny because I was in between two dresses when I was buying this dress um, I was in between this dress and another dress and I'll actually put a picture of the other one that I just about bought here and it was a really tough decision because both of the dresses are so beautiful. I know this green one was very much inspired. It had like trench coat kind of details to it. And that's what I loved about it. But when I put the two side by side and I started thinking about how is this going to fit in my wardrobe? How am I going to be able to wear this? When am I going to be able to wear this? And also, am I going to want to wear this? It came down to the fact that on a day that I was just in my apartment and I wanted to be somewhat comfy but still feeling pretty, which dress would I pick? And in reality, I kept picking the white one because I could wear the white one with sneakers and just run out of the house. Yes, I could do that with a green one too. Um, but because the green one was a little bit more fitted around the bodice and the fabric was a little bit more structured, I felt like naturally, me being someone who likes really comfy fabrics, I would naturally want to reach for the white one more. And for the price, and for the price of this dress, wanting to reach for it was really important so that is why i went with the white one instead of the beautiful olive green one which maybe i will pick up eventually but for now i went with the white one because i just saw myself reaching for it more again white is a color that i am never going to get tired of it's white you cannot go wrong with white um and that is why after you know kind of going through all of those different things in my head it just made sense to go with the white one i loved both equally they were both gorgeous um, but this was the one that I went with and I am just so happy with this dress. Oh, I love it and it's self-portrait Does anyone else love self-portrait as much as I do because it's just It's just beautiful. The unfortunate thing with self-portrait is that <laughs> there are very few dupes I can find for self-portrait because um, Their stuff is just so unique, but I will try my absolute best. Okay? Okay, I won't talk about the next dress too much because we've already chatted a little bit about it, but this is the sleeper dress so this is the atlanta dress i got it in the navy blue and i have to say that this dress is just glorious it makes me feel like an absolute princess uh the linen is beautiful and soft and i just have nothing negative to say about this again this was a dress that i really had been eyeing up for so so long and for me 
the Atlanta dress was just perfect. I knew the puff sleeves were a minor trend, um, but it was still something that I was gonna be able to get away with for years to come. And again, it's linen, it's so, so beautiful. Again, ladies, ladies, if you are allergic to wrinkles, linen is not the fabric for you, okay? I had someone yell at me on Instagram being like, oh, it would look so much better without wrinkles. I'm like, I steamed it just before I filmed it and I sat down once and the fabric was completely wrinkled. It's like, that's linen for you. You just, you can steam it, you can iron it and um, it's gonna get wrinkled the moment you take a step. <laughs> so anyways, um, yes, this is a linen dress. Um, so yes, it's gonna get wrinkled, okay? It's gonna get wrinkled. Um, but again, this bodice is what I wanted to talk about because I know I had so many women really worried about what bra you could wear with this. Um, now, this is strapless bra friendly, but because of the nature of this fabric here, it's really stretchy, I do not need to wear a bra with this dress. It is very, very supportive. It really holds me in. I don't feel the need to reach for a bra at all. And again, because it is ruched, you, I don't have to worry about nipples either or anything like that. Um, the only thing you would probably have to consider is if you go for a lighter color, like a white, then maybe nipple covers could be something to consider. Usually that's not something I struggle with, but again, if that is something that you struggle with, if you choose a lighter color, just be mindful that a bra may not be necessary, but nipple covers may be. So that's just something to take into consideration. Um, but if you're looking for a beautiful linen dress, check out Sleeper. They have so, so many different silhouettes. I know my mom is looking at a Sleeper dress, totally different design than this because she likes things that are much flowier and just kind of more breezy and easy, um, whereas I'm a little more dramatic. And so that's what she would go for, but myself, I went with this style. The third dress is the newest dress for me. And this is a dress that I, truth be told, have not stopped wearing because it is so beyond comfortable. Um, I also just feel very beautiful in this particular color. So this is the Highland dress from Reformation. Very similar style to the sleeper dress. Um, I have to say that the linen isn't quite as thick as the sleeper linen. I, so I do wanna say that the quality is a tiny 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 bit better on the sleeper dress even though they are almost the exact same price so this linen is a tiny bit thinner than sleeper main difference with this dress and the sleeper dress is that this one actually has slightly different arms so this one's got your two elasticated kind of parts on it um this one also has a beautiful beautiful leg slit which I absolutely love. I almost wish that the sleeper dress had this little leg slit because it just really is flattering. <laughs> um, but again, this is just such a beautiful dress. If you're looking for a linen dress, I would highly check out um, Reformation. They have so, so many beautiful styles. I'm very seriously considering picking up the white one. Now I don't know which one to pick up, the white one in this one or the white one in the sleeper. I don't know. They're both very, very beautiful, but I'm going to give it a little bit more time and wear both of them to see how I get on with each of them. But um, yes, this is the last dress that I picked up and much like the blue one, I wanted something that was from a sustainable brand. Reformation is really sustainable, um, really mindful of their environment, even their packaging. I was really excited with their packaging because it came in a really, you know, small shipping bag, which was super awesome. And then when I pulled it out, it came in a plastic bag and I was like, oh no. And then the bag was actually compostable. So that is super, super amazing. You know, kudos to Reformation. They are really taking steps in the right direction. Kudos to them. Um, and so, yes, this is just a beautiful dress. Also this color. It does come in white though, for those of you who are, you know, the, the, the simple gals in, in out there. Um, so those are the three dresses. And I wanted to take a moment and actually talk about specifically the Reformation dress versus the sleeper dress because there were a couple women who were asking me like which one should I go for which one do you recommend um, it just depends so um, if I have to be completely honest I have been reaching for the Reformation one more and the reason I think I've been reaching for it more is because the sleeves are not as big the sleeves on the sleeper dress are quite dramatic um, they're quite big and bulky 
which it doesn't make the dress uncomfortable the dress is super comfortable um but for some reason i've just been reaching for the reformation dress more now i could also be reaching for the reformation dress more because of the color i think i could naturally just really i think i've naturally been enjoying the kind of sage green color a lot but yes i definitely have been reaching for the reformation one more quality wise i think that i think the quality on the sleeper dress is like the tiniest like tiniest bit better than the reformation one otherwise sustainability wise i think both companies are equal design wise both dresses are beautiful it depends on what you're looking for um both dresses come in white if you just want something classic so i guess it just really comes down to what you're looking for so that's something to take into consideration but again i'm just here to provide you with information the final decision is yours to make but those are the three dresses that i bought and i am so so happy with the purchases i have been wearing all three so so much because they're just so beautiful um so yeah i'm really happy with those dresses and hopefully i'll be adding a couple more for the summer season i think these are more like my spring dresses because again they are a little bit more covered up they're a little bit longer um longer sleeves and stuff like that but yeah i'm just i'm really happy with them and i also reformation just launched shoes which is so so exciting um i actually bought myself a pair i'm waiting for the second pair that i want to come back in stock because they're not available at the moment um but again if you're looking for sustainable shoes and just really beautiful shoes for the summer um check out reformation i will link the pair that i got down below and i'll probably show you them in next vlog just so yeah check out reformation for summer shoes because they are very very beautiful they have slides and sandals and kind of um kitten heel kind of sandal type shoes so yeah lots of beautiful things on there but um yeah i hope you enjoyed my mini kind of dress spring dress haul anyways i am going to get on with my day mother's day this weekend which i am so excited about um by the way i don't think my mom caught on to to the whole text message but maybe she did and she just is trying to play it off but my dad and i are going to tell her on sunday to see if she caught on about the message that our little oopsies actually wasn't my oopsies it was my dad's but <laughs> anyways um yeah that's the plan i'm also tomorrow or probably maybe later today I'm gonna go to Craig's Cookies, which is a bake shop, a cookie shop in Toronto. I know there's a few different locations, but I'm gonna go to my nearest one. And I'm gonna pick up some cookies for my mom and dad, because again, it is Mother's Day, so, and I know they love um, Craig's Cookies, and I, I want some too. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna pick some cookies up and probably some flowers for my mom. I unfortunately have no access to wrapping paper. Um, I don't have newspapers. I don't have magazines. I mean, I do have magazines, but I'm not about to rip up my magazines for wrapping paper. Um, so I kind of am left with just giving my mom the Nespresso box as it is. Um, maybe I will get creative with some wrap. I don't know. We're going to have to get very creative because everything is blocked off for wrapping paper or even anything that is like birthday related which I understand, but also like, anyways, <laughs> I'm going to have to get creative with her gift. Otherwise she's going to get a very plain box of her Nespresso coffee maker, but it's fine. Um, but yeah, that's the plan. I'm going to wrap up the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And also happy mother's day to all the mamas out there. Um, I know if you're from the UK, I think you already celebrated, um, mother's day, but Anyways, happy Mother's Day to all of you, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.